What's going on? It's Dom. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another DIY video. Today I'm going to be painting this refrigerator behind me. Now I'm doing some work in the kitchen. I've upgraded the cabinets, dropped in a new sink and a new faucet, and I've even splurged on a new stove. Could I go out and get a new refrigerator as well? Maybe something more modern and high end? Sure but I don't need to because this thing still works. This was manufactured back in 1998, and all I can say is these top freezer refrigerators work great. There's no reason for me to change it, and the fitment in the small kitchen is perfect. So all I'm gonna do is give it a light sanding, some primer, some paint, that's it. It's gonna look really nice. A very simple project that you can take care of on a quick weekend. Now, I've already taken it out of the kitchen so I can have some room and I've laid out some uh, moving blankets underneath so I don't mess up the floors, which were recently done too as well. And I'll show you the materials and the products that I'll be using. So come on, let's get this started. All right, here are the materials that I'll be using. I've got my 220 grit sandpaper, my sanding block. I'm just gonna give it a light sanding, nothing too harsh. I've got my tack cloth to remove all the fine dust and particles. I'll be going the extra mile and trying this liquid sandpaper, which I've seen some people use on YouTube, and it's supposed to help get rid of the sheen that the refrigerator has. I'll be giving it probably two coats of this Zinsser Bonds Maximum Adhesion Primer. That's gonna help the paint really grab on. And then my two coats of the black high gloss paint. Uh, I want that to match the stove. That's why I went with the black. And then I've got my four inch foam roller and my tray so I can uh, apply it all. And that's it. So as I said, I've taken the refrigerator out of the kitchen. I've set up some drop cloths so I don't mess up the new flooring. And it's been cleaned with just some all purpose cleaner. I've gone throughout the top and sides. Uh, cleaning it all, getting rid of any dirt and grease and grime that may be on there. And now I've got my sanding block with my 220 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to go over the entire surface of the refrigerator in a circular fashion and just a light sanding just to rough it up a little bit and uh, get rid of some of that sheen. Now, I could use an orbital sander. I don't have one here, but I think if I did, I may not use it only because the circular sander might kick around a lot more dust, and I want to try and keep it confined here. I don't want it blowing around all over the place. So um, it's up to you. You can use whichever one you like. The you know orbital sander will be fine. I'm using uh, a sanding block. As I said, just a light sanding all around. Okay, so I finished sanding the refrigerator and I went over the entire thing with a tack cloth to remove any dust and particles. Now I'm going to use the liquid sandpaper. You use this full strength on a lint-free cloth, you saturate it very well, and you go over it in a circular fashion until it gets to a dry haze. You can reapply a second coat if you want to. I think I'm only going to use one coat. Whenever you're using any kind of chemicals, it's a good idea to wear rubber gloves and some protective eyewear. Whether you have sensitive skin or not, you don't know how that chemical is gonna to react to your body, so you should always protect yourself. I've got rubber gloves, I'm gonna wear some uh, glasses, and I'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm done applying the liquid sandpaper. It's dry, it's got a nice haze to it, no more sheen left on the refrigerator ready to jump into the Zinsser Maximum Adhesion Primer. I'm gonna use two coats of this, 30 minutes in between coats. I'm gonna apply it with a four inch roller, maybe a little brush to get into the smaller areas. Once that's dry, I'm gonna jump into the top coat, which is a high gloss black paint. Okay, the first coat of primer is on. I'll let it dry about 30 minutes before I give it the second coat. I wanna make sure that I get a nice even coat all around before I apply the uh, top coat high gloss black.
Well, the refrigerator paint job is done. I'm very satisfied with the results. It looks really good. It has a nice sheen to it, just like a factory one would. I also spray painted the handles to match. I think it works well in this small kitchen, the new black stove. The lower cabinets are new and a dove gray with matte black handles, the new countertops, the new sink and the faucet in a matte black. The upper cabinets were revamped uh, in a shaker style with the same matte black door pulls. But that little project right there, that little DIY saved me a lot of money. Very simple to use. The products were great. I'll leave a link in the description below. This DIY, simple, quick, anyone can do it. The color of your choice, I've seen a lot of people do it in the retro colors like the avocado, uh, but you can choose any color you like. When I put the uh, base coat on it, the white didn't look bad either, but I just wanted it to match. So I went with black, but I'm very satisfied with this job. Looks really good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment down below. I respond to all comments. I appreciate your feedback. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.